Since its founding in 1992 by the Reverend Sum Young Moon and Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, WFWP has been developing diverse social activities towards building a peaceful world centered on nearly 100 chapters worldwide. Centered on over 40 branches and the five subsections of its central committee, specialized seminars and programs are being carried out, such as the 21st Century Women Leaders Forum or Women Leaders Training Course. WFWP Korea has been practicing service and sharing through programs such as education on Korean culture and services for the needy, intended for multicultural families, including foreign language courses. It manages its website in Korean and English, sends clothing aid for Africa, and has developed the 1% Love Share Project for the Global Family, as well as the Sunhawk Scholarship Foundation. WFWP Korea holds activities on the unification of North and South Korea, unification education camps, unification concerts, donating supplies for North Korean children and women, and it has received several awards from the South Korean Government Ministry of Unification. The Korean chapter has hosted several annual WFWPI Leaders Workshops. It has promoted international exchange and solidarity through sisterhood ceremonies with numerous countries. In 1994, the Japan chapter sent 1,600 volunteers to 160 countries, which enabled the worldwide foundation to be formed. Currently, through approximately 110 projects, the Japan chapter is supporting 50 developing countries. WFWP Japan is putting everything into supporting its projects abroad, such as organizing charity events, sending volunteers, and know-how while trying to prepare the next generation of volunteers. The Japan chapter is promoting an educational reform movement. Qualified lecturers who have passed the WFWP Japan training course have educated some 30,000 middle and high school students, teachers and parents on pure love and abstinence every year. It has trained a total of 245 story reading instructors and promoted reading at schools and other public institutions. The Mother's School is gaining status as a grassroots movement. Since its founding, WFWP Japan has provided scholarships to foreign female students who study at Japanese graduate schools. Since 1997, it has hosted annual Japanese speech contests for foreign female students. WFWP USA organized the U.S.-Japan Sisterhood Project, recognized as a promising practice by the Clinton administration. It has hosted essay contests on abstinence before marriage, provided character and sex education in middle schools, sent aid to earth-stricken Japan and Haiti, and provided over $250,000 in support for eight schools in Africa. Through the media and forums, WFWP USA has focused on religious oppression and human rights in Japan and sought the aid of the U.S. Congress. It has provided a regular radio broadcast in New York for victims of domestic violence. It initiated the 10 million signature campaign for the Middle East, hosted an international conference in Costa Rica, and organized national assemblies with prominent speakers attended by over 450 women. Through its connection with the media and growth on the grassroots level, WFWP USA is recognized and also working to raise up the next generation of women leaders. Of the 3,500 United Nations NGOs, the WFWP is one of the 142 in general consultative status with the Economic and Social Council. The WFWP UN office cooperates with the UN Conference of NGOs in support of various programs and commissions in order to realize the UN MDGs and the other goals of the UN. There are offices located in the major UN headquarters. The UN office has sponsored conferences at the UN on peace building and women's empowerment, youth leadership, poverty eradication, Middle East peace, and human rights issues affecting women. 
It has a strong advocacy presence at the Human Rights Council. WFWP chapters worldwide hold hundreds of events each year in support of UN issues and themes. The Asia region is carrying out many activities centered in Taiwan, Nepal, Thailand, the Philippines, India, Bangladesh, and Malaysia. In Taiwan, over 1,200 lectures on AIDS prevention have been given within schools and cities and even in remote areas. Through creative programs such as the short video clip competition, four panel comic competition, and others, a total of over 670,000 youth participated in the campaign on AIDS prevention and the campaign against drug abuse. The Children's Painting Contest for Peace was hosted by Nepal and exhibited 125 paintings from various schools. The Thailand chapter started the Foster Parents Project to educate children who are the root of peace and has presented 430 scholarships totaling $60,000. The WFWP Philippines, in cooperation with the Taiwan Root Medical Peace Corps, has implemented a yearly medical service project and has treated more than 10,000 patients. The India chapter is running a vocational educational training center for poor children and women. The Bangladesh chapter has enabled around 150 women from slum areas to start small businesses by running a loan granting project. WFWP Europe has held sisterhood ceremonies more than 110 times across 40 cities during the past 12 years, for example between Arab Muslims and Spanish Catholics and among Protestants and Catholics. After an area of Germany passed a bill accepting prostitution, WFWP Europe protested loudly and has held seminars and campaigns to protect women's dignity and rights. Beginning in 1994, Interfaith Prayers for Peace were organized by many European WFWP chapters, which led to diverse peace-promoting programs until this day. Noteworthy is the British chapter, which established an inter-ethnic orphanage and school in India with outstanding scholastic achievement. WFWP Europe reviews its strategy in an annual regional conference, promotes activities with the UN, European, national and local institutions, and like-minded NGOs. A developing partnership with UPF and government institutions in convening monthly high-level conferences throughout Europe has provided a platform with the potential to influence European policy more directly. The Latin American region, Argentina, Chile, Uruguay, have been offering professional women's lectures, art activities, and character education. Sex education under the theme, Why Sex?, has been given in hundreds of schools and institutions in Venezuela. Seminars on true love and AIDS prevention are being hosted in the Dominican Republic and Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, Belize, and in other countries. The Latin American region has been assisting schools in destitute areas by providing scholarships and school supplies. It has been providing educational courses in languages such as Spanish, English, Portuguese, and others on a regular basis, and is preparing a window for cultural exchange through Taekwondo classes and art exhibitions for children. It has celebrated International Women's Day and Sisterhood Ceremony events, as well as presented outstanding women's awards on a regular basis. The Oceania region consists of 14 island nations and is a diverse and very multicultural region. The first WFWP sisterhood ceremony was held between indigenous Australian and non-indigenous Australian women and Japanese women. In 2005, with the support of the First Lady of Palau, WFWP Oceania held a women's friendship conference in Palau bringing together women of the Pacific Islands and Japanese women in reconciliation for past national conflicts. WFWP Australia 
Offer support by sending books and used computers to Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, and Papua New Guinea. They establish the New Hope Academy Kindergarten in the Solomon Islands and support the WFWP's Women's Center in Vanuatu by sending sewing machines. WFWP New Zealand provides toys and funds to Samoa Kindergarten and supplies for infants at the Auckland Middleton Hospital. WFWP Australia, in partnership with Drug Free Australia, is providing support for the women and youth of disadvantaged communities in Sydney. Celebrating Life is an innovative character building and substance abuse prevention program. It has been welcomed by many communities and received federal government funding. Centered in Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver, the Canadian chapter has been focusing its efforts in a series of marriage, family, and relationship seminars, emphasizing the importance of family in a society where same-sex marriage was made legal in 2003 WFWP Canada has provided a way to educate the public with specialists sharing experiences and information from a variety of perspectives. WFWP Canada seeks to resolve cultural conflicts and enhance peaceful relationships through its Sisterhood of Peace ceremonies. All branches host an annual International Women's Day celebration. For several years, the Toronto and Montreal branches have raised funds to support a WFWP-run school in Kigali, Rwanda, and the Toronto branch has hosted a wonderful afternoon of the International Poetry Reading. The Kenya chapter in Africa has been holding seminars and visiting families to educate and inform people about the dangers of HIV, AIDS, and drug abuse, a danger threatening many families in Africa. Also, in cooperation with Kenyatta National Hospital, the Kenya chapter is visiting pregnant women who do not have health insurance to educate and teach them new skills for becoming financially independent and also teaching them nutrition management skills to help infants. In cooperation with the Brahma Kumaras World Spiritual University, the Kenyan chapter has been running monthly programs to heal families and communities, while at the same time carrying out activities emphasizing harmony and peace between religions. The Cameroon chapter in Africa started a program where quilts are made and sold and benefits many women. In Kenya, a program of training about vegetable cultivation for women who must live with an average of less than $2 a day is taking the lead in eradicating poverty. In Ivory Coast, for those women who had no opportunity to go to school, the chapter started a reading and writing class for adults, which later took root in many African communities. The Middle East region of the WFWP has been working towards healing the people in the region who are experiencing poverty and war. It has been providing volunteer activities in nursing homes, orphanages, kindergartens, and facilities for the disabled in Egypt, Iran, Israel, Jordan, Turkey, and in other countries. And it has sent medicine and medical supplies to Gaza. The Middle East chapter has been consistently investing in sponsoring and supporting children and students in Gaza and the Palestinian refugee village in Lebanon. Since 1997, it has maintained activities to sponsor Iraqi refugees with a small-scale financial support project and a technical training course. Under the basic ideals of a God-centered ideology, it has hosted the Women's Conference for Peace in the Middle East for 15 consecutive years, gathering top women leaders from the region and the world. In the Northeast region, the Russian chapter has held charity programs for orphanages and elders' homes, along with providing character and pure love education and multicultural programs. Starting with sisterhood ceremonies between women from Germany and Russia, it has hosted meaningful events in which, for example, former First Lady Riza Gorbachev and the daughter of former U.S. President Ronald Reagan, Maureen Reagan, took part. It has recently organized a children's dancing and singing group that often takes part in social and charity activities. In the past two years, more than 20,000 youth have watched musicals on the theme of tolerance 
created by WFWP members and through this received education about moral values. The Mr. and Miss World University Beauty Pageant has expanded into a family level contest. Its activity of the True Family Movement has received attention from the media. Everywhere within the global village for the past 20 years, with an unwavering heart, the inspired faces of women who have devoted themselves with warm passion, giving and giving again, forgetting the fact that they have given. Even today, a warm hand is extended with the true love of a mother. The Women's Federation for World Peace is working toward a true family, a true society, and a peaceful world. This unchanging belief, passion, and love is bringing about a world of true peace.